Welcome back to our gastrosexual series on Rage today. Now our 19-year-old gastrosexual, Sean, is going Italiano today. <laughs> Sean, tell us what you're cooking today. Um, it's going to be a separate risotto with pan fried cod fish and parmesan foam. Mm, this is a traditional uh, Italian dish? Not really. Um, only, I think it's kind of modern with the foam and usually risotto is served as appetizer, whereas not as the main course. Sean, um, are you ready to for the gastrosexual challenge? Yep, yep. Okay, but before we start, Sean, I want to ask you about your shoes. Very cute, you know, your shoes. Sean explains that most chefs working in a large kitchen must use safety shoes, just in case pots and pans drop, trolleys roll over, or knives fall. Cooking is a dangerous job, alright? <laughs> <laughs> alright, Sean, do you need my help? Um, at that moment, no. Oh. Looks like this is a man who knows what he's doing and needs no woman messing up his kitchen. Yikes! To make the risotto, add butter, onions and the rice to a hot pan. How do you know how much to put in? Um, so aggravation is cooking, it's not baking or pastry. So, so. so when you're cooking at home uh, for family and friends, do you allow people in your kitchen? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So you're not going to tell them to get out of the kitchen and leave you alone? Uh, no, it's alright. Just um, don't, don't talk too much. Saffron is widely used in Italian and Mediterranean cooking. And Sean chose this spice because it adds colour without altering the taste of the chicken stock. What makes a good risotto stand out from one which is not so good? A good risotto should flow like lava. So when you pat it on the bottom of the plate, it should flow up. Ones that are too dry are the ones that you can flip the plate over and it stays there. It's a very interesting line of work, yeah? yeah. You use your hands a lot. Mm -hmm. hmm. Do you like like working with your hands? Uh, definitely, yes. I think you get expressed more than just studying and doing an academic job in the, in, or in the office, something like that. It, it gets boring after a while. And I think it's a lifelong skill. Definitely. Risotto is one of those type of dishes that's easy to make but also easy to go wrong with. So our expert chef advises us You have to stir constantly and make sure it doesn't uh, overcook or the stock goes dry and everything. So and it really shows the finesse of the chef, yeah? Mm -hmm. After five months of slogging at least 60 hours a week in a hot kitchen, under the watchful eyes of star chef Marco Pedrelli of Mandarin Hotel, we wonder whether our up-and-coming chef picked up any other skills than cooking. Come on, speak some Italiano here! Okay. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Looks like the only Italian this guy picked up isn't what he'd want his mother to hear. Up next, Sean shows how to sizzle the codfish and reveals his worst customer experience. 